write down the exact value of these uh, these questions. So let's look at the first question. Say what does it say? You want to find sine of 2 pi by 3. So I like to work in degrees so I know pi is 180 degrees. So well this is sine of how much? So this is 2 times 180 divided by 2 divided by 3 sorry so this is 3 goes in 180 60 times so this is sine 120 the question is basically what is sine 120 so first you need to understand you need to think 120 is in which quadrant so you should know sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant so 120 degree is in the second quadrant okay and secondly sine is positive in the second quadrant so this is how I write so this sine 120 so I can say sine 120 is same as sine 180 sine 180 minus 1 sorry 180 minus 60 okay or in the second quadrant sine is positive and you should know this formula it's good to remember some formula so sine theta is equal to sine 180 or pi minus theta or 180 minus theta so this is same sine 120 is equal to sine 60 sine 120 is equal to sine 60 so you should know sine 60 is root 3 over 2 we'll check this on a calculator sine 60 is root 3 over 2 so we can say this is sine 120 is also root 3 over 2 so the answer is root 3 over 2 to be exact so let's confirm this on the calculator root 3 root 3 over 2 is 0.866 so let's get the calculator so this is my calculator okay so go to run menu and I always check my settings it should be in degrees because we're working in degrees so sine 2 pi by 3 is sine 120 is 0.866 okay or sine 60 is also 0.866 okay okay look at the next question okay so second question I'll do a few questions and the rest will be homework so cos say 3 pi by 4 so the two things that you need to decide is first decide the quadrant and then decide the angle okay so first deciding the quadrant you have to decide the angle so this is cos 3 times 180 divided by 4 now 4 goes in 90 how many times 45 times so this is cos 135 cos 135 is in the second quadrant and cos is negative in the second quadrant so cos 35 is same as minus cos of 180 minus 45 180 minus 45 is 135 so let me confirm that okay 180 minus 45 is 135 am I right yeah so basically what we are saying is cos 135 is equal to minus cos 180 minus 45 which is minus cos of 45 minus cos of 45 degrees and cos 45 is 1 over root 2 so this will be minus 1 over root 2 or if you want to understand in a, the using using symmetry so what we are saying is cos 135 so let me draw a unit circle so cos 135 so this is a unit circle so what is cos what is cos 45 so cos 45 is the x-coordinate 
Okay, uh, cos 135. So this is a, let me draw 45 degrees on all the four quadrants. Say this is 45 degrees, the third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So this is 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. So this is, this is, this is cos 45. This x coordinate is cos 45, which is 1 over root 2. So if you take this value, this would be, this is minus, sorry, this is cos of 135, which is the reflection on the y-axis. Okay, so, so we can say cos, so what basically what we are saying is cos of 135 degrees is same as the negative of cos 45. You take the negative of the cos 45, the minus of cos 45 will give you cos 135. So let's check that on a calculator. So, so let's go cos 135. This is minus, this is 1 over root 2. And if you go minus cos of 45, that will also give you that same number. Okay. Okay, let's look at the next question. What is the next question? 10 5 pi by 6. So 10 5 pi by 6. So first let's change this in degrees and then we'll decide, decide the quadrant. So this is 10 pi by 6 is 30. 180 divided by 6 is 30. So 30 times 5 is 150. So 150 degree is again in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant so, the second quadrant, 10 is negative. So, one thing that you should understand, the answer should be negative. So, 10, 150 degree, which is in the second quadrant, is equal to minus 10 of 180 minus 30. 180 minus 30 is 150. So, we can say 10, 150 degrees. 10, 150 degree is same as minus 10 of 30 degrees. Because using symmetry, 10, 30 and 10, 150, 10, 30 is in the first quadrant having 30 degrees and 150 is 30 degree in the second quadrant. Okay, so, and you know 10 is how much? 10, 30, so we should know 10, 30 is 1 over root 3. This is 1 over root 3. So the answer should be minus 1 over root 3. So here we did get the answer. This was minus 1 over root 2. And here the answer is minus 1 over root 3. So let's confirm the answer. 10, 150. So let's first do. Let's first do what is minus 1 over root 3. Minus 1 divided by shift root 3 okay minus 0 0.577 let's cancel that and 10 150 150 should be the same answer okay let's do one more okay you want to find sine of 7 5 7 pi by 6 7 pi by 6 so again pi by 6 is 30 which is sine 7 times 30, which is 210 degrees. 210 degrees is in the third quadrant, and sine is negative in the third quadrant. So this is in the third quadrant. And the third quadrant, it is negative. So it is minus sine of 180 plus 30. So 180 plus 30 is same as minus is same as minus sine of 30. And sine of 30 you should know should be half, so it should be negative half. So we can say the answer is negative 0 0.5. So let's confirm that. So sine sine of 210, sine of 210 degrees should be minus 0 0.5. 
Okay, and let's finish up with this question. Cos phi pi by 4. Phi pi by 4 is, sorry, cos phi pi by 4 is cos phi times 45. Okay, so, so pi by 4 is 45. So it's phi times 45, which is how much? Uh, 225. So this is cos 225 degrees. So 225 is again in the third quadrant. And cos is negative in the third quadrant. So that is minus cos of 180 plus 45. So we can say cos of 225 degrees is equal to minus cos of 45 degrees. And uh, cos 45 is again minus 1 over root 2. So this is, should be minus 1 over root 2. So let me show this on a calculator. So minus 1 divided by root 2 is minus 0 point this number so let's cancel that and cos of 225 cos of 225 degree should be that same number so you can do g h and i as your work and check it on the calculator